we have the tier ranking tier list. We put which tier is a uh, how you feel about each tier on S through F. So uh, first we got C tier. C tier is um. It's a bit too much in the middle. Not much to gleam from it. It's a, bit, it's a bit of like a safe space for you just to put random stuff. So honestly, C tier is kind of... I'd say it's kind of C tier. It's like just middle. You get nothing from it. Kind of just like a free space. E tier, honestly, ironically enough, E tier is kind of F tier. Because this is the space you use when... You can't really commit to the extreme of something, but you still have like some slight feelings about it. At that point, just put an F tier. If you can't decide D tier and you know it's not C tier, just put an F tier already. S tier, you know, S tier, surprising enough, Chad, S tier is pretty, is pretty good. It's a pretty good tier. It's, it's one of the best ones around. A tier. Uh, I would say A tier is kind of B tier. Because with that much liking of something, you might as well just put an S tier. If you put something in A tier, you just can't find all the reasons you need to to put an S tier. But it's probably good enough just to be an S tier, so... I'll say B tier. D tier is... If it's just below C tier, I would say, you know, D tier, it belongs in itself because it at least deviates from the average. So you do have some reasons to put it in D tier. So it probably has its reason to be there. A tier is so 2005. Yeah, it kind of feels that way. It's just... There's probably no need to have it since you have all the reasons to put in S tier. D tier is very utilitarian. I mean, only in the fact that you can come up with some reasons to not put in C tier. Then D tier is useful. But then after that, E tier is, is not needed because you have F tier. Who uses F tier? Everyone, when you want to describe something that belongs in the lowest possible category. E tier is the, mo is the more useless one because you have something that you know you do not like, but for some reason you can't put it all the way in the bottom. You might as well just put it in one of those two already. There's no need to be, there's no need to have a middle ground for something you know you don't like. Yeah, I would think it's more, yeah, E tier is more F tier. I think B is also F tier. Really? You know, actually, maybe. I think it might be, yeah. Because, I mean, A tier is already kind of useless. Okay, yeah, good. I think, wait, what? I think F tier might be S tier. It is an extremely useful tier. I will give you that much. It gives you the most definitive feeling about something in which you can work your way up to placing things in higher tiers. Actually, I think you're right. Yeah, I think... I would say F tier is definitely up there. i say it's definitely S. Yeah, there you go. The tier list. The, the tier ranking tier list. The best ones being, of course, S and F tier. If you're not an A, you're already a C. Yeah, you might as well already put in C. That's some, you just have to know how you already feel about something. Having too many gradations about liking something and then disliking something, you're just confusing yourself, which leads to improper tier building. Yeah, S and F tier are the best tiers around. And then towards the middle, in the, in the muddy, we got A tier, C, and D tier. 
C tier is just the true average, the true just median. It's good to have that one. A tier is effectively is somewhat useful as, as well as a D tier. But luckily D tier stays in its own ranking. And of course the worst tiers are E and B tier. No one needs those things. Yeah, there you go.